in our 13 problem we need to find the sum of sin theta plus sin 2 theta plus sin 3 theta up to sin n theta now in this question we can see that the uh, the difference of angles is constant here it is theta then we have 2 theta then we'll have 3 theta and the difference of angles is constant and it is equal to theta so the important trick used in this question is we multiply both sides by 2 times sin of half of the difference in angles which is theta in this case. So we multiply both the sides by 2 sin theta by 2. So this becomes 2 sin theta by 2 into s equals 2 sin a sin b. Then again 2 sin a sin b format and this format will continue till the last term. Now we know that 2 sin a sin b equals cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. So we can convert all these products into this difference of two terms form. We can write 2 sin theta by 2 into s equals 2 sin a sin b which is equal to cos of a minus b which is equal to theta by 2 minus cos of a plus b which is equal to 3 theta by 2. Similarly, the second term 2 sin a sin b cos of a minus b which is cos of theta, 3 theta by 2 minus cos of a plus b which is 5 theta by 2. Similarly, all the terms. Then the last term 2 sin a sin b is cos of a minus b which is n minus half theta minus cos of a plus b which is n plus half theta. Now we can very clearly see that in this uh, process of ours all the terms are getting cancelled. Similarly this last term will get cancelled out with the term previous. So we are left out with 2 sin theta by 2 into s ok not this term this term will get cancelled out with the previous term so we will be left out with cos theta by 2 minus times cos of n plus half theta So we can very easily get the sum as cos theta by 2 minus cos of n plus half theta upon 2 sin theta by 2. So we can clearly see that the important trick used in this problem is we have multiplied both the sides by 2 times sin of half of the difference of arguments. Here the difference of arguments was theta. So we multiply both the sides by 2 sin theta by 2 and in this uh, process of ours we can clearly see that all the terms will get cancelled out except the first term and the last term which we club back together and get the final answer as cos theta by 2 minus cos of n plus half theta upon 2 sin theta by 2.